Dental radiographic exams are one of the primary diagnostic tools to determine disease states and to formulate the appropriate treatment. Radiographs should be prescribed according to selection criteria guidelines. These guidelines are based on a variety of factors, including the patient's medical and dental history, clinical signs and symptoms of disease, risk factors, age and dentition, and new or recall status. Dental radiographs are valued diagnostic tools when the image quality is adequate enough for proper interpretation. To do this, it is imperative to correctly place the image receptor in the mouth and ensure that the primary x-ray beam is centered and aligned correctly in both the vertical and horizontal angulations. At this time, it is crucial to minimize patient exposure to radiation. Successful images require the use of careful technique and precautions to maximize their diagnostic and interpretive value. This video is provided by Densupply Serona and is to be used as a guide to enhance the clinician's skill in acquiring quality radiographs. This informational guide is not intended as a replacement for the Directions for Use manual for any product shown. Always check your manufacturer's guidelines for recommended use of equipment. It is important to keep in mind that all sensors have a certain parameter of inactive space, similar to what is shown here. The clinician must compensate the sensor placement to ensure one is capturing the area desired. The image receptor should be placed as parallel as possible with the long axis of the tooth. Cotton rolls are often used during radiographic procedures to allow more comfort and assist in capturing necessary anatomy. The paralleling technique is used for both periapical and bite wing radiographs and is the most accurate technique for taking these projections. Receptor instruments with X-ray beam ring guides improve the accuracy of the PID alignment to ensure correct beam angulation and centering. Receptor instruments combine a receptor holder with an arm that has an attached ring indicating the position for the PID. This helps the operator avoid cone cut errors by specifically directing the X-ray beam toward the center of the receptor. The XCP DS Fit Universal Sensor Holder has a universal design which provides a custom fit to any size or brand sensor. The self-adjusting clip stretches to fit size 0 to 2 sensors, allowing for less inventory. The XCPDS Fit Universal Sensor Holder is autoclavable and has a rigid sensor support, which helps to keep the sensor positioned accurately during use. The XCPDS Fit Universal Sensor Holder can be used with the traditional arm and ring sets, which consist of three metal arms and three color-coded rings corresponding to the area they will be used in the mouth. The blue bite block is used for the anterior radiographs. There are two options of anterior bite blocks, a thicker bite block and a thin bite block, which makes it easier to place in the patient's mouth when using a size 2 sensor. The blue bite block corresponds with the metal arm and ring with the blue pegs and the blue ring. The yellow bite block is for posterior periapical radiographs and corresponds with the metal arm with the yellow pegs and the yellow ring. The red bite block is used for bite wing radiographs and is available in a horizontal or vertical orientation and corresponds with the metal arm with the red pegs and red ring. There is also a green bite block for use with endodontic radiographs and has a metal arm and a green ring. To assemble the XCP DS Fit anterior bite block, Place the blue pins on the arm into the side of the blue bite block and slide the arm into the blue aiming ring. A RIN digital sensor cover is recommended for use with the XCP DS Fit Sensor Universal Holder. Use of this barrier does not replace the cleaning and disinfection of digital radiology sensors. Please clean and disinfect digital radiology sensors as described in the manufacturer's directions for use manual. After placing the sensor into a RIN digital sensor cover, securely insert the sensor vertically into the blue bite block, making sure the active side of the sensor is against the flat surface of the bite block. To begin the prescribed full mouth series of x-rays for the patient, center the sensor behind the maxillary central incisors and position it in the center of the mouth. Place the center of the bite block on the incisal edges, the maxillary central incisors, and instruct the patient to close slowly. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm, close to the patient's face. 
align the tube head of the X-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The X-ray image is now ready to be captured. Continue by capturing both the right and left maxillary canines. Center the sensor behind the maxillary canine in first premolar and position it in the center of the mouth. Place the center of the bite block on the incisal edges of the maxillary canines and instruct the patient to close slowly. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. For accurate images of the mandibular canines, position the image receptor centered behind the mandibular canine in the first premolar, ensuring that the receptor is placed in the center of the mouth. It's imperative with this image that the clinician pay careful attention to the horizontal angulation so that the contacts are opened. Place the center of the bite block on the incisal edges of the mandibular canines and instruct the patient to close slowly. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. To assemble the XCP DS fit posterior bite block, place the yellow pins on the arm into the side of the yellow bite block and slide the arm into the yellow aiming ring. After placing the sensor into a RIN digital sensor cover, securely insert the sensor horizontally into the yellow bite block, making sure the active side of the sensor is against the flat surface of the bite block. The clinician moves towards the posterior region of the maxilla to capture periapicals of the upper right and the upper left premolars. The clinician places the receptor toward the midline with the center of the bite block under the second premolar and aligns the mesial edge of the bite block between the first and second premolar contact point. Following these steps will produce a quality diagnostic image. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. To capture images of the maxillary molars, Position the image receptor in the patient's mouth in the mid-palate region, allowing the sensor to find its way comfortably by resting the bite block on the second molar's occlusal surface. Ensure that the mesial edge of the bite block is between the first and second molar contact point. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. The clinician moves towards the posterior region of the mandible to capture a periapical of the lower right and left premolars. The sensor is centered behind the second premolar and the mesial edge of the bite block is aligned between the first and second premolar contact area. Due to the inactive portion of the sensor or limited access, a cross arch placement of the sensor may be necessary to achieve a quality diagnostic radiograph. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. When assessing the mandibular molar region, position the sensor in the patient's mouth, centering it behind the second molar. Allow the sensor to find its way comfortably by resting the bite block on the second molar's occlusal surface. Ensure that the mesial edge of the bite block is between the first and second premolar contact point. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Bite wing radiographs are considered part of the routine dental assessment. It may be five to seven years between full mouth sets and bite wing x-rays are an important diagnostic tool to monitor disease and health during this time interval. To properly detect caries in periodontal disease, it is essential to capture open contacts between teeth and maxillary and mandibular bone levels. It is important to ensure that the central ray is perpendicular to the image receptor. Placement for the premolar bite wings will often require an adjustment of the sensor to capture the distal of the canine and avoid overlapping. On premolar bite wings, center the image receptor behind the second premolar. 
To assemble the XCP DS fit bite wing bite block, place the red pins on the arm into the side of the red bite block and slide the arm into the aiming ring. After placing the sensor into a RIN digital sensor cover, securely insert the sensor into the red bite block, making sure the active side of the sensor is against the flat surface of the bite block. If taking horizontal bite wings, the sensor will be placed into the bite block in a horizontal position and in a vertical position if capturing vertical bite wings. As displayed here, the clinician aligns the interproximal indicator slot with the interproximal spaces to ensure open contacts. Due to the inactive portion of the sensor or limited access, a cross arch placement of the sensor may be necessary along with an adjustment to the horizontal angulation of approximately 15 degrees distomesial to achieve a quality diagnostic radiograph. The following video demonstrates this adjustment to allow for premolar bite wings with optimal diagnostic information. The vertical angulation is typically set at positive 5 degrees. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Similar to the premolar bite wing, the central ray must be perpendicular to the image receptor when placing the molar bite wing. It is essential to include the distalmost portion of the second molar or third molar if present. When placing the sensor, allow the sensor to find its way in the mouth and just prior to having the patient close, gently shift the holder as far distally as the patient will allow. Once the bite block is in place, slide the aiming ring down the arm close to the patient's face. Align the tube head of the x-ray unit in a close approximation to the aiming ring and center it. The x-ray image is now ready to be captured. Thank you for viewing this instructional educational video brought to you by Dent Supplies Serona.